Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these adorable caterpillars. We're going to learn how to mix two primary colors to make secondary colors, which you can include in any lesson. My mission is to be a guide for those who are uncomfortable leading art lessons. Start with an egg carton and cut it in half. The materials you'll need are a thick brush that's easy to grip, pipe cleaners, pom-poms, googly eyes, glue, and paint. For this project, we're going to make a rainbow caterpillar. To make a rainbow, you can either choose all of the colors of the rainbow and put the paint on the plate, or you can choose to mix colors and to talk to your child about how to create secondary colors from primary colors. To do that, start by pouring two primary colors on the plate. Let's go ahead and start with red and yellow. You can help your child remember the first two primary colors by reminding them that it looks like mustard and ketchup. To make a secondary color, you're going to mix the first two primary colors together. Pour about a quarter sized drop of yellow paint on the plate and add one drop of red. One mistake that people make is trying to add the dominant color, which would be red first, and then adding the yellow in. What happens is, is that you have to add a lot of yellow to make the red change color, and so you end up wasting a lot of paint. If you notice that the orange isn't quite the color you want, you can always add another drop of red. Next, we'll add the final primary color, which is blue. Then we'll mix the two primary colors, blue and yellow, to make the secondary color green. Remember to start with the lightest color first and add one drop of the darker color. We're going to make the final secondary color purple by mixing red and blue. In this case, red would be the lighter color, so we add the red first and then we add a drop of blue. It's time to paint the egg carton. Start with the lightest color first. If the yellow is not showing up, add a drop of white, which will make the yellow less translucent. Without cleaning the brush, you can add orange and then red. Once you're done adding the warm colors, you'll want to clean your brush before adding the cool colors. Start with the lightest color first, which is green, then move to blue, and then purple. It's time to add pom-poms to the caterpillar. Add drops of glue to every piece of the egg carton except the first one. Poke two holes in the red section, then you or your child can thread the pipe cleaner through the holes to make the antennas. Give it a little curl around your finger and cut off any excess. Place a drop of glue on the top of the red section and add the pom-pom. Next are the eyes and a little smile. You can even do a lesson about caterpillars that glow. Did you know that some caterpillars are nocturnal? Some researchers dust caterpillars with non-toxic fluorescent powder and observe them under black lights. The powder sheds off with their next molt. A fun activity might be to get some glow sticks and to move around the house and observe each other to see if you can tell what people are doing. Or just have a fun glow in the dark party. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please click like so that other people can find it more easily.